Thank you. I like some like good evening. How are you going? You come out in the rain to see people. Eh? Trainees in the crowd say yeah, yeah. yeah. Bejan say yeah, yeah. yeah. To all you in the crowd. Where are the people from Guyana? Where are the Guyanese? Well, all you like Trinidad anyway, so look at us. They're like they always live in Trinidad. Where are the Jamaicans? That's it? That's all the Jamaicans in the crowd? Where are the Jamaicans? Let me hear you, man. All right. I'll tell you this. You can take your light off. The people want to laugh and relax. They don't want to be seen. I will tell you this, folks. You're looking beautiful, ma'am. Lovely. See, she made an effort. Lovely. I will tell you this. Seriously, folks. Jamaicans, we love all you, you know. Jamaicans, Trinis love all your ass bad, you know. All you know that? It's true. We love all you. We love dance hall. We love pasa pasa. We love reggae. We love everything Jamaican. Everything. We just love shit from Jamaica. We love it. <laughs> we love and we don't know why they don't love us. Jamaicans, why all you don't like us? Eh? Eh, we, it's not our fault we have oil. <laughs> Seriously. All your serious shit. We love Jamaica bad, you know, and I'll tell you this too. We right up there with all you know. Trini's right up there going neck and neck with Jamaica. We right there on the kidnap list. We up there on the murder list. We up there with murder it. Everything we dare. We dare. We right there. We bad. We real bad. Not even must see quarter the population of Jamaica, but Trinidad doing that shit. Trinidad is a mess. All you don't find so. What going on? What going on in Trini? Eh? What is the people's story down there? Mm. What wrong with them? I will tell you this though, Jamaicans, I have a problem with the word, is it blood clot? And boom boo clot? And ras clot? Now, I ask, at the time I was in Jamaica, and I asked the question, what it mean? Why are you watching my crutch? I saw you. <laughs> you just look at straight at my cat. Straight at my cat. Oh boy, you in trouble tonight. Or the woman next day in trouble tonight. Who knows? But seriously, folks, seriously. I was in Jamaica and I said that on stage and they were like, oh, oh. she said a curse word. And I was like, oh, that bumboclat is a curse word. So I asked, I said, well, what, what it mean? What it mean? And they told me it mean the clot you put between your leg. Blood clot. You understand? So basically, the worst curse you could give somebody in Jamaica is you could call them a pad. <laughs> Calling people a pad is the worst. <laughs> I was like, that is the worst curse. They have worse things you could call people than a pad. Plenty worse shit you could call people than. But that is the thing. And I have to say, I must say, it, it have a sweetness to the way they talk. I love that too bad. I'll tell you, they say, see, Trinis, Trinis is something else, you know. Something else. The world in recession. Who here have no work? Say all, all you have work. You have no work. Talk the truth. You have no work. Anybody who have no work, who who lose their work? All, all you shame to say you have no work. You shame to say you lose your job. It ain't your fault this time, you know. The recession have people who qualified and good at they do what, what they do and think they may have no work neither. Don't feel shame. Don't feel bad at all. But you see, you forget that it have jumbi up here. All you forget that because we, we're not in the Caribbean no more. You forget. You think jumbi alone does exist in Haiti and does exist in Jamaica and it does exist in Trinidad. So you just use your business there to fix your business there. But you come up here and you forget that you have to fix your business here too. Because this place full of jumbie. This place full of shit, you know. Jumbie everywhere you go. My husband lose three jobs this year. Whole place falls silent. And he white. I didn't understand it. I was like, bitch, you should have a walk. How come you were getting no walk? What is wrong with you? So I give him a blue bat. And I would like to recommend you do the same. If you're having problems in your life, go and give yourself a blue bar. Do not let this recession bring you down. You hear? 
because everybody catching their ass. You agree? All you're catching, all your ass. Don't talk no shit, no serious. Or don't forget where you come from because we have been through hard times. I don't know about you, but I grew up in a house with six sisters. It was seven of us and a mother and a father, and nine people in that house. Nine people. You understand? And my father had to mind all of us. Things was rough. Don't watch the color my skin and feel it was easy at all. I remember my times. How many of us know hard times when your mother couldn't afford a loaf of bread, so she had to bake a bake, a Johnny bake in the oven? Clap if you know what I'm saying. Had to bake a Johnny bake in that oven so that you could eat and all or all you could get a piece because she can't afford loaf bread every day. My favorite of that, remember they used to make tomato choker to go with the bake and pumpkin choker and saltfish. Well, I used to like cheese or bread or butter. I used to like the hot butter with that hot bake when that come out that oven. That was the nicest thing. I used, to, I used to wait for that bake to come out just to throw some butter and it just melt. And that was dinner. That was dinner. It filled my belly. Because, you know, you had to give children thing to fold the belly when they're small. And my mother had to do that. We had to do plenty of shit growing up. Don't forget where you come from. Don't forget you know hard shit. You know real hard shit. You know the real hard shit. Not the shit they're calling up here hard. What they call hard up here, they say, oh, you have it good. What do you mean you have it? I wash it all the time. That ain't no hard nothing. My, we didn't have no Christmas tree. All you, nobody had? No Christmas tree? So my mother had to take a branch outside and take off the leaf. Who know about that? Yes? And spray paint it white or silver or gold, whatever color paint she could get. And put that inside a clim tin with some stone <laughs> to hold that down in the corner that was our christmas tree you know that was christmas tree that's the shit i know so you know the shit too you know that you know hard times the real hard times being catch ass in a third world country is not the same as being catch ass up here it's a different kind of catch ass so you know you tough you could handle blows don't let no recession throw you down and take your blue bat you hear what i say i beat that bitchy backstage now you know I beat him with Sive. <laughs> I beat his ass with Sive. I said, come here, take that. You need a job. Go and make some money. And I know all you have West Indian groceries up there, so you could get the things we need, right? Or you know what we need. We need, you need, um, you need some salt, a nice bag of salt. You need tree lime. Tree line. Now, all you might say, well, she, don't worry with that. This is free information you're getting up here tonight. Take it and run with it. Because you're going to pay Obia Woman $500 for what I've given you for free. Tree line. A bag of salt. You're here. Blue. The piece of blue. You know the little square blue? If you don't have that, get a blue soap. You don't have no blue soap, get the little block of black. Little block of um, Miss Beckett's blue, they just call it. Right, get a little piece of blue and get some scythe or some kind of green bush, anything green. Not cabbage, because that don't hit good. <laughs> Try that shit, it don't hit good. You have, to, you have to get some bush with length, like a whip. And you have to, first of all, hear what you need to do. You need to put that bucket, put that water, throw some salt, mix it. Then you cut your lime in half and you go squish, 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 squeeze the lime. Then take your piece of blue, put out your pen and paper. This shit you should be writing down. This is the shit to write down. And you take the blue and you mix it in the water until you like the color. You understand? Whatever color come out, you like you with a dark blue, light blue, whatever. Then you pull, leave it so. Then you take your hand right hand and slap the water three times plateau 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 to wake up the water wake it up and then you take your sweet soap bath get naked no you, you get your candle too i forget to tell you get a candle a little candle so when you finish do your thing you could light your candle say your prayers white green is for everybody prosperity for everybody honey yeah, that's how I said. 
and then you take your sweet soap bath and as you come out you don't you know you don't dry yourself you take the water and you start to pray you say the our father and you wet the mole of your head and you start to go down go down go right down to your toes and if you have no man wash it good wash it good wash it so dip it in the water dip it get it nice and clean and then you beat yourself with that side and you let that water dry on you you let the water dry don't dry it off and then you light your candle, say your prayers, and things will change. You need to change the energy in your life. Don't feel because you're up here that they don't have nothing that go harm you. They have maljo and barai everywhere. You hear? Everywhere you go. So fix up your business. You hear? Yes. That, yes. You're taking that advice. Tonight you're beating your man. Go and get a job. I tell you this work. I did that before I get a husband, you know. I was dickless. <laughs> Me and no man. I tell you, it was like it was bad. My hand was getting tired. It was like I was on a dick diet. <laughs> I couldn't see a dick for love, no money. And I take that bath. Next thing I have, man, give him a ring and ask him to marry them. And thing I tell you, you're getting dick regular now. But you see, when you do that too, you just attract all kind of man, you know. It's all kind of man coming, you know. It was like I had a dick buffet. <laughs> I could get any dick I want. I could get curry dick. Creole dick, chasu kaifan dick. <laughs> but trust me, don't say yes to the chasu kaifan. Eh? Nothing there. Oh Lord, I don't know what it is with me. You know, I like Chinese men. Oh yeah, I have a weakness for them martial arts fellas. I don't know. I think Bruce Lee had me crazy. I love that little short Chinese bitch. I love him bad. And Jackie Chan and Jet Li. You know what I like? I, I want a man to be a man. You understand what I'm saying? talk rough not in the wrong place like you know like you, you ever hear a japanese man talk you ever hear how they talk when they talk they sexy you know it is riley up your cat does get soppy and you ever hear them talk to you when they start hi foji amakusu nehi mama when they talk to you so you're like what you want what you want bitch what you want I'm telling you, you could learn plenty from other cultures. Don't feel it's just me. You could learn plenty things too. Like the Japanese samurai. When you see you do a squat on a man's face like a Japanese samurai, he dead. <laughs> no getting away. Caribbean posse say, yeah, hey, hey. yeah. All you like shit, you know. Tell you this, don't feel how, don't feel, I could learn plenty from people, plenty. I had a Chinese man, me ashamed to say it. I take a Chinese dick before. I'll tell you what happened. You know when you're with a man? Well, you would know you were a man. Well, you, you, you're with a man, right? You're with a man. And you know when you're ladies, when you're with a man and things getting hot and you pass your hand. You know, you pass your hand to see what you're getting. And as I pass my hand, it's smooth like mine. It's smooth. <laughs> Well, all you are just, I just had to go through with it. You know when you go through with it because you don't know what else to do? Well, I didn't know when it start or when it end, but. That was the first and last time, boy. Oh, gosh. I'll tell you this. I know my limits. I know my limits. And I think so. Trinis should know the limits too. We like to be in everything. We in everything. We in everything everywhere. We even kill the king of pop. All you know, we kill him. Dr. Conrad Murray. He from the Caribbean, all you. I don't know if he born in Grenada, but he'll grow up in Trinidad. So he claimed Trinidad as he home, all you. Dr. Murray, he killed the king of pop. Others be saying, oh God, all you can't stop shaming us all over the place now. Do something good. Solve something, I know. Solve the crime, swine flu crisis or something. Don't kill nobody named Michael Jackson. You kill he of all people. They go hate us for life. We in everything, you know. Every, you can't stop a trainee. Recession going on and they're partying. You ever see shit like that? They just be partying. I, I went down this year. I could not believe people drinking lime and partying. Like nothing. And they have only best and newest of styles. Like if they just buy it. I was just all, you know, a recession going on in the rest of the world. You don't think you should be saving your pennies, or at least, you know, just in case it hit here? But when they're not backward, you know. Them backward in a way because things just hit them after. 
The world go end and six months later, after they send in plane, they just send in plane out. Nobody returning. They don't know why. They're too busy drinking and partying. When they come, they come. That's how we are, you know, we are like that. But you must know your limits. You must know your limits, folks. Like Rihanna and Chris. I have to say something before I go. I have to go. But Rihanna need to know her limits. You understand? She need to know those limits. Like, you know, when you cuss a man, you can't cuss a man in a car. Ladies, who's, who've cussed man? All your cuss man. You never cuss a man in a car. Because the side of you that facing the man go take the blows. All of us know that who take a lash before. I get lashed before, me ashamed to say it. I have been with all kinds of men. I ashamed to say it, I not know who. I mean, I'm a human being, I live a life, I know man, I know woman, I know, not that way. But I mean, I know people, and you know, you do not take a man in a car, he in behind the wheel. First of all, the bitch behind the wheel, and you going to cause a man behind a wheel, and you trap? You can't do shit. We know, ladies, we know that that is a set of shit. That is young people shit. That is young people Shit, that is not no big people shit. Big people shit, you just cuss a man and know how to leave. You have to find a rescue, an escape door. You have to be able to cuss all your ass. Your mother ass. That's why you just cuss. You don't cuss and stand up and take blows. I want to know if she really from the Caribbean in true. Because we know how to do our business. I will tell you this though, you know, I know my limits. I know my limits. I suggest we all do the same. When you're with a man and you know he's a rock star, you know he want woman left, right, all over the place. You know he, you I go be the only one. Don't expect to be causing bacchanal for no reason. I was with this man. I have my limits. Bumsy, my limits, that's it. I was with this fellow and he come and he say, you know, you're in the middle of business. That does always hit you then, eh? When you're in the middle of thing with them. Oh God, Donna. He excited. I want to try something. You know, when they start with that shit, I just start to, ooh, you know, start to get frightened. He said, ah, listen, Nam, I want to try something with you. I want to give you a blow boom C. I was like, you want to give me a blow boom C? What, what is a blow boom C? This is before I meet my husband and all of that, eh? You know? I'm like, what, you want to give me a blow bomb? What is a blow bomb? He say, all right, here what we go do, all right? Listen, I will take some punch and rum and put it in my mouth and gargle it. And I will <laughs> blow it up your bombs. <laughs> and stupid me. <laughs> Let the fool do it. Oh yeah, it was burning for a whole week, you know. You know what it is to get punch and rum blow up your ass? I tell you, that was it. I couldn't go no further with that man. Want to mash me up from inside and out. What is this? No. Blow boom see. And he happy. Always happy to do you the damage, eh, fellas? All you know about that, eh? Try everything it have to try. I tell you, my bumsy is off limits. When I meet, when you want to go there, we finish. Right there, I know I can't take you for the rest of my life. You could take medium-sized dick for your whole life. And ladies, yeah. But you see a man who want to mash you up and take away your lungs and displace your intestines and choke you in your throat? I leave them behind. Folks, it was great, wonderful to be with you. You've been a fantastic audience. Enjoy the rest of the